reign in this earth, reign in this place. Let's rule and abide. If he's been good to you, let me hear you make some noise. Come on. If he's made a way out of no way just this week, some of you got a testimony just this week. But when I look back over all the Lord has brought me through, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Everything that the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy, God reversed that thing. Come on. Some of you need to hear that on this morning. He can't kill what God says let live. He can't steal what God gave me. He can't destroy what the Lord is building up. Come on. We're going to watch God turn that thing around. We're going to watch God turn that thing around. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, God's going to turn it around this morning. Come on, let me see you turn it around. Come on, team. Let me see you. Hey. Let's go together. All over the room, let me see those hands.
King Jesus. Hey, say King Jesus. Hey, say King Jesus. We let you up. Say King Jesus. We let you. Say King Jesus. We let you. Say King Jesus, we let you. Say King Jesus, we let you up. Say King Jesus, we let you up. Say King Jesus, we let you up. 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 We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up. Come rest. Spirit was moving over the yeah. Spirit come rest on us. Come rest on us. As the Spirit was moving over the water. Come rest. As the spirit was moving, see, come rest on us. See, come rest on us. Now let's declare, say, calm down, say, calm down, say, spirit, when you move, you make my heart. When you feel, say, you're here. Come on, see it, I'm here. Oh, come now, come. Spirit with you make my heart. When you feel, see your heal. Come on, let's declare, I'm see it, I'm here. Now let's fill the room with worship. Come on, lift your voice and worship him in the room. Come on, let's fill the room with sounds of worship, with sounds of adoration. We give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. Come on, say, as the Spirit was moving. Come on, say, Spirit, come. Come rest on us. Come on, let's declare, come rest on us. As the Spirit was moving. Oh, oh, oh. Spirit wind, 
yeah. You move, you make my heart. Ooh, when you feel, see you're here. Said I'm here. Come on, let's declare. Say, calm down, come. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart pound. See you're here. Said I'm here. Now, come on, say, Holy Spirit, oh. Come rest on us. Come on. Say you're all we want. Say you're all we want. Say Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody say. Come rest on us. Come on, say. Say you're all we want. Say you're all we want. Let's say. Say Holy You're all we want. You're all we want. 
come and rest on us. Holy, holy. You're all we want. Come on. Holy Spirit. hands, lift those hands in this room. We are standing on holy ground and I know that there are angels all around Let us pray, hey, Jesus, now, cause we are standing in His presence Let's declare that in the room. Come on, are you Lord? Are you? Come on, see Almighty. Come on, worthy is the Lamb. Oh, oh, oh. come on, sing, see you are holy. Jesus, 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 Jesus,
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We're gonna call him uh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on, let's call him uh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Call him uh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yeah. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh. Jesus, 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 oh, Jesus, 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 oh, Jesus, Jesus, call him to your situation, change it, call him, call him now, call him now, call him to everything, change it, call him to everything, change it, call him to everything, change it, Jesus, 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 See the 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 Burden bearer, heavy load Sarah. The burden bearer, heavy load Sarah. Burden bearer. <laughs> I really sense that in the room. That for many of you, what the Lord wants for the next few moments is for you to release some heavy burdens. Heavy burdens. <laughs> So if well, we, we can for the next few moments, if that's you, can you come meet us at the altar? You say, ah, that's me. I need to put some things down. I need to release it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. I need to put some things down. I need to let it go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to lay it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right here at the altar where things are altered. That's right. Where things are altered. That heavy burden, that heavy weight. Uh, he's ready to lift it. Uh, he's ready to lift it. 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 Pastors, if you could just lay hands uh, as a point of agreement. Father, I thank you uh, for everybody at this altar. I thank you, Father, that your word lets us know uh, that we can take your yoke upon us. Uh, but your yoke is easy uh, and your burdens are light, Father. Father, today uh, we submit every problem, uh, every situation, uh, every trial, every tribulation, uh, every circumstance. Circumstance, every burden, every weight, we submit it to you, God. And we thank you that you take our burdens, God, and you carry them. You take our sickness, God, and you heal our disease. Father, I thank you that you are Jehovah Shira, the God, our provider. I thank you that the burden of provision doesn't sit on your people, but it sits on you. I thank you that the burden of healing doesn't sit on your people, but it sits on you. I thank you, God, that the burden, God, the burden of peace, it's on you, and we give it to you. We surrender our problems. We surrender our cares. God, we let go of the things that you have not ordained for us to carry, and we put it down. We let it go, and we pick up your strength. We pick up your strength. We pick up your help, your help, and your peace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, that you're making our burdens lighter. That you're making our burdens lighter. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come along.
Father, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you this morning for how faithful you are. We are grateful for your presence, Lord God. We are honored, Lord God, that every Sunday after Sunday, you decide to step into the room, Father. And I know that it's not by coincidence. It's because hearts are open to you, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that in this moment, Lord God, there are hearts that are being freed from heavy burdens, Lord God, as Pastor Ro already spoke into the atmosphere. I thank you, Lord God, that you are a just and faithful God, faithful to forgive, full of mercy and compassion. There is nothing that we could ever do that would separate us from your love. I thank you, Lord God, that this morning you are eradicating, Father God, condemnation from this very room. And I thank you, Lord God, that there are hearts that are falling full of conviction, Father God, because we see your glory. We see your face. And when we are able to see you for the grandiose that you are, we are able to see ourselves, Lord God, for what we are not. And this morning, Lord God, we thank you for the clarity and the deity of who you are. The fact that we can see you high and lifted up. The fact that we can see ourselves, Lord God, and the things that we do that are unpleasing to you. I thank you, Lord God, this morning for your grace and your mercy. For you are our God of compassion. I thank you, Lord God, that your heart of compassion is what drives us to repentance. Oh, I feel repentance in the room. I feel repentance in the room. This might be a good moment to do an altar call. Oh my God. This might be a good moment for those of you that feel something on the inside driving you to say yes to the Lord. Yes, God. Would you come? If the Lord is present on your heart, would you come? Don't worry about being ashamed. Don't worry about feeling singled out. I promise you, the people around you, they don't care. They don't know what you're going through. They don't know what God is doing on the inside of you. Jesus, you are being filled right now in this 
business. You are being filled right now with the power of God, with the boldness of God, with the fire of God, with the wind of God. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you will continue to stir up in this place. Continue to stir up in this place, God. Lord, I thank you right now, Father God, that Lord, whatever it is that we came in here with, Lord, God, I thank you right now that we are no longer being bound by it, Father, but I pray right now, freedom in the atmosphere, freedom in the atmosphere, freedom, 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 freedom. say this what pastor Jamie began to step into was prophetic there were many around the room that was supposed to respond to that call and you didn't because in a room where you see a crowd we become embarrassed about a moment that we know we're supposed to take when she said I feel repentance in the room that was the Spirit of God announcing his desire in this room. And now repentance, because sometimes we get it confused. We think it's just, I haven't surrendered my heart. Maybe I've never given my life to Christ before. That's not what repentance, that's a form of repentance. But many of you, hold on, bring it down a little bit, need to repent for several things. Some of you need to repent for how you've been spending your time. Some of you need to repent for not being able to be surrendered in your area of your finances. Some of you need to repent for not giving God a full yes to your calling. Some of you need to repent for the areas that you have failed in your own personal life while you say you're serving God, but you're not serving your family well. There's a lot of repentance in the room. And you thought it was just about confessing Jesus as your Lord and Savior. But you're missing a moment that God is ready to shift you out of a stuck place and into a free place. You begin to speak about freedom. Repentance brings freedom. So we're going to open this altar again because there is repentance in the room. And we are going to give God the moment that he's calling for because what's on the other side of repentance is freedom. Let's come. Let's come. There we go. Let's come. Let's come. I knew it's more. Today, uh, it's not your condemnation, uh, but it's conviction. Uh, for you are desiring uh, to carry us into a new place uh, in our relationship with you, uh, in experiencing you uh, and encountering you. Uh. So, God, we say we're sorry uh, for every place uh, that we have erected idols uh, above you, uh, every place uh, that we have put something uh, or someone uh, ahead of you. Uh, we say we're sorry. And God, we return our attention, our affection, and our affinity back to you in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout glory. Come on, shout hallelujah. Ramakarabasata Shiki Ribiko. Rama Karabasata. We thank you that your spirit is here, God. That you are activating our spiritual callings. That you are reviving the areas in us that have been dormant. We thank you, Father, for a hunger and a desire for all of you. Let us not stop short of where you desire to see us grow to. But God, break us out and through to all you have for us in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let the lion let the lion of Judah let the lion let the lion roar, hell, hell, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar, 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 roar. Come on, have 
have your seats. I do believe that it was important this week ahead of that I'm gonna have you pray ahead of going into next week that the Lord shook the room in the way in which God has even the revival of repentance ahead of a week like next week. Here's the challenge: because if you're not careful, you'll take you all can be released. If you're not careful, you'll take a week like next week, and it'll be normalized to you. You'll leave this room. You'll do everything that you normally do Monday through Saturday with no difference, with no focus on the lost. This is a week as a believer for us to have, I mean, when I tell you peak focus and attention on God, on the Great Commission, we've been challenged over the last few weeks talking about being submerged the way you really demonstrate you are submerged is when you possess enough courage and boldness to pull some others to that same water with you we can't be submerged in shame either you're submerged or you're not but we can't have the Sunday swim and be dry the rest of the week. A submerged experience has to be all day, every day, every week. It's something that I live with God all the time. Amen? And that doesn't mean that we don't have fun. We have fun with God, in God, for God, because of God. I feel a mandate in this room to challenge you. Listen to me clearly as it relates to the Great Commission. This is a week to respond to that challenge. All right? Many of us we can't remember the last time. Maybe maybe you do because the last few weeks we've been challenging you, and challenging you in the area of the Great Commission. Maybe you remember, but if you had this week should not go by. Listen to me without you sharing the love of God with someone. This week should not go by without you inviting someone to be here. Somebody in your circle needs Jesus. Somebody needs an encounter with God. The same way that you did. My wife shared her story in the first service, 19. I'm grateful for the person who witness to her. He would go on to become her boyfriend, amen. God will use whoever he must. But she shared the story because if it wasn't for that moment, she may not have come into the revelation of God and the relationship with God that she did. Those who caught in the first service, she was in dollar store. Someone who didn't know her in dollar general witnessed to her. You are blessed by her prayers today because somebody was willing to not be ashamed. Now, he probably saw a pretty woman too, and amen. But I'm grateful. All I have to say, this is the week that you are being challenged. Yes, somebody should come with you next week. Yes, you should share the love of God. There were so many places that we were going to go today. But I felt when, when that whole calling for repentance came, we almost missed it. Because as believers, let me tell you something. One thing we're good at doing is pretending after a while. Some of you were at your seat and knew you needed to repent, but you feel like you've been in church too long for others to know that you need to repent. So you missed what God wanted to do because you were worried about people when God was here to respond to you. I already know. Ask me how I know. We've all been there before. But to be embarrassed for a moment with God is crazy. 
So I feel like we needed a challenge story. Can you share your story? I know I kind of shared it briefly. Can you share what it meant to you? I know what it means to me. Amen. Amen. Well, we talked about this morning about being submerged and how being submerged means to be overflowed by water, to be overwhelmed by something. And when you become submerged, you take on the qualities of the thing that you are overtaken by. You start to resemble that which you have been overwhelmed and submerged by. And I shared this morning how at 19 years old, I was on LSU's campus and I had just gone out that night, probably to a club or a party or something like that. But I remember coming back to my dorm room and laying in my bed and looking up at the ceiling. I remember it so vividly and I felt so empty inside. I said to myself that there has to be more to life than this. There has to be more to life than this. Now understand, I was going to church. I was going to church Sunday after Sunday because I was raised to go to church. Yeah. I was really I was religious, but I didn't have a revelation. I was going to church Sunday after Sunday and going to the club Friday after Friday. And at that point when I was in my bed and the Lord began to start a stirring on the inside of me. It was like a Holy Ghost setup. Because I, then, I remember after then going to a Dollar General on Airline Highway next to the Piggly Wiggly. Amen. Some of y'all remember. And I remember going to get a birthday card for one of my friends. And this guy came up to me and he asked me, have you ever received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And you have to know I'm kind of petty. I responded to him, yes, I have, haven't you? And he began to continue. See, he could have stopped right there, but he didn't stop right there. He continued to minister Jesus Christ to me. He continued to tell me about the things of God and what God had done in his life and what God wanted to do in my life. And then he invited me to church. And when I tell you, after that experience, I became completely submerged. I was never the same after that. I began to be so hungry for the things of God. I will go to church Sunday after Sunday, but this time with the revelation of the changing power of Jesus Christ. I will go to church with the revelation of what Jesus died on the cross to do for me. He died on the cross to give me freedom. He died on the cross to release me from the bondage that I was in. He died on the cross to release me from the weights that I was carrying, for the things that I was going through. He died on the cross to release me from all of those things. And before I knew it, I fell in love with Jesus. I listened to a sermon every time I had a chance. I, every time the church doors were open, I would go into the church. I would pray day after day. And before I knew it, I began to witness to my family. I began to bring them to Christ. I began to continue to be transformed. And people saw the Jesus on the inside of me. And I tell you, as I said in the beginning, that it started... The submerged started then, but a submerging is something you have to do day after day. It's moment after moment. When you first give your life to the Lord, your submersion doesn't stop there. When you become submerged, it should be something that never gets old. It should be something that never gets stale. It should be something that never gets tired. But it should be an experience that you have with God on one Here's what we're going to do, and then I'm going to have you pray. Pull out your phone. Now, there's some somebody the Lord may have you run into this week that you don't know, and I want you to share the love of Jesus with them too. But in your phone, real quickly, I want you to put the name of a person in your notes who you know you're going to reach out to this week. We're about to pray over them. Put them, put them in there. We're about to pray over that name. But as you reach out to them, the Holy Spirit will minister to their heart. We're going to 
pray and go into the altar, over the seed and you reach it, then what God is going to do in the harvest. Can we do that? I don't know about you, but I get excited when souls are won in the kingdom of God. It's a beautiful thing. We should still get excited about what heaven rejoices over. Heaven rejoices over a soul. And that's what matters. Can we do that? Can we stand here? We're going to lift it up like we normally lift an offering up. Amen. I want to pray. Now, we're going to pray. You're going to pray in the room. But I want you to pray over that person too. Can you? Because you know certain things about their lives that may need prayer right now. So as we're praying over them, can you also be praying over them as well? Let's do that. Let's pray. Lord God, we just thank you right now, Father, for each and every person that they have listed, Father God. Lord, I pray, Father, that you will start the stirring right now, God. Lord, I pray that you will start to prick their hearts, Father, that when they reach out to them, God, that you will have done and started a work on the inside of them. Lord, I pray that they will be able to receive, Father, the message of Jesus Christ, God, that they will be able to receive receive the invitation to receive Christ and come to church with them on next Sunday, dear God. Lord, I pray right now for each and every person, God, that is in this building, Lord, that they will not be fearful, dear God. I pray that they will not be ashamed of the gospel, dear God, because it is the power unto salvation, Father. God, I pray right now, Lord, that as you do a work in them, Father, that you will allow the light of Christ to shine so brightly, Father God, that even as the people they are talking to, Lord, they will hear the passion, God. They will heal the zeal, Lord. They will hear the power in their voices, God. And I pray right now, Lord, that you, God, will continue to do what only you can do in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may have your seats. Glory be to God. Before you go, I know we have some announcements to make. God, our worship the whole time, amen. So we want to give you an opportunity over the next few moments to extend your love, your worship, your adoration to God by way of giving. It's not a break in our service, but it's an opportunity to worship the Lord, amen. If you're giving with cash or check here in the service and you did not receive an envelope on the way in, lift your hands. Someone will give one to you at this time. You can also visit our website, lovealivechurch.com. Click on the Give tab and you can give that way, or you can text the amount that you desire to give to the number 84321. Amen. And while you're preparing your offering, I know my wife has a few things to share. Amen. Amen. We were so excited about the week, about our weekend experiences that we had. We had our, our Fierce Women event, the Sister yeah. Talks, amen. I know a lot of you ladies came out. It was such a powerful time of transparency, vulnerability, tears were shed, laughter was had, and it was amazing. Thank you to all of the ladies that came out and all the ladies that served. I appreciate you so much, and it meant the world to all of the ladies here at the church that serve alongside me, amen. We also had our Easter serve opportunity that took place, amen. I heard we had a phenomenal turnout with our fam. We wanna encourage you guys to continue to serve, continue to volunteer, because what we do in the fall, four walls of the church, that's important, but what's more important is what we do outside of the four yeah, walls of yeah. the church. We were in the community and being a blessing to the homeless, population. In fact, we ran out of food. We were able to give that much to who was in need. Amen. So we want to encourage you to continue to partner with us to be a part of those efforts to meet the needs of people, but also share the message of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are also excited about another local impact opportunity. We have a color run coming up. It's called Magnolia Rose Color Run. Amen. It will benefit and it's for autism acceptance, amen? It will be on April 6th, so mark your calendars from 8 o'clock a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. 8 p.m. at the Baker City Park, amen? I pray that you guys have a great Sunday. Amen. Stand your feet. Let's run. While you're standing, a few other things. Of course, next weekend is Easter Sunday. Uh, so yes, so be prepared to be in the building. God is going to do something great, amen. We should be excited, amen. Next Sunday is Easter Sunday. Amen. 
9 o'clock, 1045, we'll be here. Amen. Make sure that you bring someone with you. Also, we have prayer this Tuesday night, 7 o'clock p.m. I hated that I missed last week, but I will be in the building this Tuesday night. And we are praying in advance of Sunday. So I just believe God is going to do something amazing. Prayer has been amazing. I love what God is doing. And so we invite you to be a part of it. April 14th, we have baptisms coming up. Amen. <laughs> So some people will go for, you know, public with their declaration of their faith on that Sunday. Amen. And so we're looking forward to it. And then after this service, we are going to have a dream team rally. Amen. So if you serve on the dream team, uh, hang out with us here in the sanctuary. I think they're going to visit the Connect Lounge first. Hang out. Okay. Hang out with us in the sanctuary and we'll give you further instructions. Amen. At that time, lift your offering to heaven. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for every seed being sown in this atmosphere. We thank you, Father, that it's falling on good ground and that it will produce the harvest that you have designed for it and what you do desire for it. God, we pray that you multiply the seed. We thank you for the miracle signs and wonders and the breakthroughs and testimonies that will show up on behalf of our obedience. We give you the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I believe Pastor Nisi is coming to close this out. And we'll see you at the door. Amen. Come on, saints of God. Give God a hand clap of praise. I don't know about y'all, but I am full today. You know how you go to a buffet and you're like, oh, that was a lot. Today was one of those, oh, that was a lot. But the thing about a buffet is they have something for everybody. And so what you had today may not be what I had, but I hope that you were able to grab something on today. And when you go through this week, let's not leave this worship in this building. Let's not leave that yes at the altar. Let's not leave our confession here at the altar. But when Monday get here and they work your nerves, say, Lord, I still say yes. When Tuesday get here and your baby daddy catch you the wrong thing, say, Lord, I still say yes. Okay, I thought I was in the right building today. Let's not leave it here today. Let's take it with us. If there's anybody that needs additional prayer on today. We do have someone from my Ignite team up here just to touch and agree with you. She's over here to my left, your right. But I just want to leave you with this. Stay submerged in what God has given you. This is not about the building, but it's about the spirit that lives on the inside of you. God bless you and have a great Sunday.